Hi friends, I have a great video for you today, which is ranking all of my nine pan palettes from ColourPop. I have 13 of these. Yes, Smuckers is joining us, by the way. <laughs> She's enjoying just sitting there. I try to get her to come over and say hi, but she can uh, be a little bit antisocial at times. So she's just going to stay over there today. I also do want to comment. A lot of people have been asking me about my background. I'm just trying to change things up. You guys, we do videos so much and uh, we just get tired of things when we try to change it up. I'm also going to be filming out in my living room before long just to kind of change things up a little bit. I also want to tell you that if you're missing the quip of the day, no worries. Stay till the end. That is also switched to the end. Let's get into ranking all of my ColourPop 9 pen palettes right now. So we're going to start with the number one. This is the number one. This is All Things Equinox. This is one that I got from Ulta. I don't know if you can even still get it. I think you might be able to. The reason that this is my number one is this gives me all the good feels about a palette. It gives me my purples. It gives me the mauves. It gives me the cool tones. It gives me brightness. It has the ability to be a very neutral eye if you want that. But then you can go into the mauves and then you can go and pop it into the purples too if you want to. And I just think that these are just a beautiful quality of shadows. I want to just tell you guys right now that color pops formula to me is just as good as anything high end. You're getting a very great value and you're getting a great payoff. So this is my number one. Number two, I bet you thought was going to be my number one, but this is the Lilac You A Lot. This palette to me, as far as a pink and purple palette, and the reason that these are both at number one is because these are my favored colors. Not because I don't like the other ones, just because these are my my favorites personally but the formula in this one particularly is super duper saturated I just reach into this and I'm like wow I love 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 this formula it is one of those ones that as I work with it I love it more every single time but there those are and such pretty colors the look you could get is you could do a complete look out of it you can use any of these nine pan palettes that are the specific monochromatic palette use them as pops of color you don't have to to just stick with one palette and get a whole look out of one and actually that's what I do a lot I will use a specific color or two out of one of these palettes and then use one of my more neutrals but so pretty and really really perform well number three is my blue moon palette the blue moon is the monochromatic blue I love this color right here this is a very periwinkle blue color I don't know if I've seen that in any other palettes in a very long time, but it is a really, really pretty color. Love it. And then this um, kind of a icy color right here gives a blue shift to it and a green shift to it. It's gorgeous. But as far as there being a palette that I reach for, for just the purposes of the pop of color, it is definitely this palette because I love to put blue on my bottom lash line. It's just one of those ones that makes my dark blue eyes kind of brighten up a lot and I think it's so pretty. Every time I open it up, I feel inspired because I love putting blue on my eyes and yes, I know lots of people don't think that blue should go on the eyes, but for me, I love it. Making Mobs is number four. I really like this palette. Extremely cool toned. This is like a neutral bump up. So if you love neutral colors, but you're wanting to do something just a little bit different, the mauve tones really give your eye a lift and you get a little bit of a variety away from actually just wearing neutrals. And this is so good. So you do have a couple of these super shock formulas in here, which are super metallic, beautiful, and they wear so good on aging eyes, which I think is really great. But you do have this warmer brown right here, kind of a saddle brown in there that I think is real pretty. And I would would definitely recommend this one if you're somebody that has been looking for cool tone colors but you haven't been able to find them anywhere this one is so very good for that so I absolutely love this palette. It's one of my favorites. This is the It's My Pleasure, and this is all their purples and their pinks. And again, as I go through this one, I get all the warm and fuzzy feelings from this. I just think that this palette was so well put together. I will say that I wish that there was a couple of colors in here that were a little bit lighter, but the, I think that's why I ranked this one a little bit lower than the lilac -y one. But if you're somebody that likes pinks and likes purples, this, this is definitely a palette that you're really going to enjoy. I I work with this one constantly. It's one of those ones that really just fulfills my purple needs. I really like it a lot. 
Number six is a newer one from them. This is In a Trance. Now, there goes the little plastic piece. In a Trance is a very pastel palette. It does have the pinks, the purples, and the blues, and they're all together. This and one, again, has the Super Shock formula right up here in the corner of it. Um, did I talk to you guys about the little mirrors in these? Um, this is a whole thing of a mirror back here. And so you have a really good mirror in these that are the plastic packaging. Now, some of these are the cardboard ones, but the ones that are the plastic packaging, I love using that mirror to put my makeup on. They're really great. And I think that this packaging is really good. Now, I want to show you something that is really neat about some of these colors. This that is one of the colors in there which I think is so pretty. It's just kind of a violet light lavender purple, but here's that super shock formula. Now you take that and you put it over top of that violet and you've transformed it into something super light and super pretty. So you can have the matte if you want that, but you also can have something that's going to be very eye catching as well. But they have these new topper ones that go on top of other colors and just bump that color up and make it look so vibrant and so pretty. So this one is number six. So number seven is what I'm sure that is number one for most of you guys in these nine pan palettes If you love a neutral eye, you are going to absolutely love the going coconuts palette So many people love this palette for a very good reason. First of all, there's not a color in here that people can't use. They are all very wearable, very usable by smuckers. And I absolutely love these. I think they're fantastic. They do have the shimmers in here. Their shimmers are so good, you guys. If you have trouble with that normally on your eyelids, I think that you're going to love their shimmers. They really do a good job on their mattes. Look at that right there. So saturated. And I just... I love them. I think they're great. I'm actually wearing a combination of this palette and the Making Mauves palette on my eyes today um, because I wanted to go a little bit more neutral for you guys because I know you've been begging me for a long time for a neutral eye look. So in so using these, you're going to find that you're just going to really love that formula, that creamy texture that they give. This particular palette, I feel like I can travel with this one and maybe another color palette and be completely happy the whole time because I'm going to get whatever look I really want out of those palettes together. In at number eight is Blush Crush. This is fairly new to their line. The reason that Blush Crush is there, again, is not because it is a mauve one. It really it just kind of, to me, looks like it's a eyeshadow palette that's full of blush colors. I love it. I think it's great. This color right here, which is like a, a kind of a dark peach, I think it's a beautiful color. This color right here is one of those formulas that goes on the eyelids so well. This one down, down here does have a little bit of micro sparkle in it, but on my eyes, you can't tell that. It's just really pretty. This is one of those palettes that I've really, really enjoyed using. I think the color story on it is really beautiful, and I think that you can get some absolutely gorgeous looks out of it as well. And if you're somebody that likes a little bit more along the lines of a warmer tone with a little bit of the peaches mixed with some pinks, this is a really good one for you and definitely more along the lines of a neutral bump as well where you're just wanting a neutral look but you want to have a little bit more life to your eyes than just a neutral color this could be a really good palette for you as well and at number nine is meant to be and this one is so many people's favorites so many people love green eyeshadow but they can be intimidated by it this is for you because you can take one of these colors and pop it on your eyelid and they're so soft and so pretty but at the same time, you can go into this deep, dark olive green and deepen up your outer um, lid if you want to and, and achieve a look that way. There's so many beautiful mint colors in here, really vibrant ones, and then super light ones in here. This palette to me is one of those palettes that will make you be a little bit more adventurous than you've ever been before, which I think is so much fun. So if you've been thinking for a long time, I like greens, but I don't really know what to do with them, you're not out very much to buy one of these nine pound palettes, and then you can just experiment with them, and if you don't like them, you don't feel so bad for passing it on to one of your girlfriends or your daughters. And I just think it's such a beautiful palette, and I really love those colors. Number 10 is Miss Bliss. This is a new one as well, fairly new. I really, really like this. This one because it gives you the peaches and it gives you the pinks which i think are so needed in anybody's look when you do a look if you get a neutral look on or you get a look on that is cool and you look at your eyes and you go i don't really appreciate that that doesn't look really good on me i'm wanting to just take it all off take a peach or a pink and just buff it across your transition color and i swear you guys you will 
definitely like your your look then because for some reason just using a peach as a transition color or a pink can really do wonders for eyes and i have loved that for a long time i actually learned that a long time ago in a makeup class it was one of those ones that i've just stuck with me and so i definitely do that all the time on my look so if you feel like you're in a in a rut just try that trick now what i love about this is you do get all of those colors that really hit the peach side of it but you definitely get the pinks as well number 11 is ooh la la this if you're a pink gal this is a must palette because this has every pink vibe you could ever want in here these are such beautiful colors and i also like that they threw this cool toned um, peachy color in there like almost like a champagne gold color in there because that helps kind of brighten up the pinks and just make some pop you do have those tremendous pops of pink in here that are going to be super bright and then you do have one that looks almost like a purple in here which i think is great that super shock one that's on the top that is almost like a duochrome one i just think that's gorgeous and then of course you have all of this other yumminess down here i know that i'm a horrible swatcher guys i'm so bad at it but i love doing it's it it's all and kinds of fun for me to show swatches so definitely love this ooh la la palette and the pink vibe that it gives off and if you're a lover of pink it is a great palette for you number 12 is nude mood and i like this one because again it's a lot like the going coconuts one but it is a little bit warmer. And now you guys know that I lean towards the cool tones. I like those a lot, but this one is a very wearable one to me. So it's not like it's so warm that when I get it on, it's going to really, you know, make me feel uncomfortable. I like it a lot. You have a lot of cool tones in here. This one right here is again, the Super Shock formula. Look how vibrant that is. So good and so pretty. And I just think that this is a palette that even though it is a little bit more on the warm side, I use it all the time, especially when I'm wanting to go for a specific lip. If I want my lip to be more along the lines of kind of a peachy pink instead of the regular pink that I wear, then I'm gonna go for that. And it just, it turns out so pretty. This gold right here is one of the creamiest golds I've ever seen. It's right there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful gold. Very wearable for just about anybody, I think. So this one is a fun one as well. And number 13 is Just My Luck. So you do have a couple of colors right here that are really on the mustardy side which i just can't use so it's what the reason that i did put it lower than any of the other ones but the quality is still there if you want a green palette you're looking at it you need something deeper something that seems a little bit warmer this is going to be a really good one for you and they do have such vibrant beautiful quality to them and i love that they threw a brown in here because that brown is a beautiful brown it's not one that's not usable so there are the swatches of just my luck i do not do swatches well you guys there's the swatches of just my luck and that is our last palette i hope that you did enjoy seeing me rank all of my ColourPop nine pan palettes which palette in this ranking was your favorite i would love to hear that from you in the comment se section i'm so thankful that you spent a bit of your day with me today thank you for giving me a little bit of your time everyone please stay happy stay healthy stay hydrated stay sanitized love you very much and i will see you in my next video bye guys